I'm joined in studio by constitutional law expert Pierre de Foss, who's very kindly agreed to sit us, sit with us and speak us through what exactly are the spy tapes and what the process will be going forward. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. Now, of course, we know that the Supreme Court of Appeal has ruled that those spy tapes will now be made available. But let's go way back to what are these spy tapes? Okay, what they apparently are, we don't know because we haven't seen them. But we have uh, been given what appears to be snippets from these tapes. And the tapes were made by somebody in the intelligence services. We don't know if it was authorized or not. Apparently it was authorized. And it was made of telephone conversations between various people who, according to the then acting head of the prosecuting authority, were discussing when, what the timing should be of charging President Jacob Zuma, who was then not president, but who was just challenging the then uh, President Thabo Mbeki for the leadership of the ANC, about the timing of charging him with the more than 700 charges of corruption and fraud. And should it be done before the ANC elective conference or after? And so they discussed this. And so some of those people who discussed it were in the National Prosecuting Authority. And when the decision was then later taken to drop all the criminal charges against President Zuma, uh, the spy tapes were then used. And that it was said that these tapes uh, show that there was some political manipulation and that destroyed the whole case. And so the, the, the DA then went to court and the DA is arguing actually that was not a really a very good reason to drop the charges. We want all the information that you based your decision on, including the spy tapes. And so there's been a to and fro between the parties whether this should be given to the DA or not. Because once they have all the information, which includes the spy tapes, but it's not limited to that, it's also all the other memorandum, all the other information, then they can know if they can make a case that the whole dropping of the charges against President Zuma was actually irrational and therefore unlawful. 